didn't notice you. I'm urban camping today. You want to take a look at the Stuart Stevenson? This is a M1078 with a hard body in the rear. So essentially this is the perfect camper for someone that wants to travel the world, be able to go anywhere they want in style. This is $125,000 new from the government. It's powered by a Cat 3116 motor with a ton of torque, made it to an Allison 7-speed transmission. We fully service this unit. The cool part about it is take a look at how the front of it is. It's nice and ergonomic. Your tires are underneath the cab. The cab actually lifts up and you can work on your motor easily. <clears throat> you got yourself your lights up front, your cab lights, and the body of this truck is very, very nice. It has 374 miles on it. We've put a total of 30 on it ourselves just to test it out. So whoever buys it to build it out will be very happy. We're gonna go inside of the capsule right now. God, walking in sand is very difficult. This is essentially 180 square foot, so you've got plenty of room to build out. Uh, you can put a kitchen, a bed, TVs, air condition. Let's go up these stairs and take a look. So it's very roomy. I'm six foot and there's still plenty of room. You have two doors that can open up or you can open up a single. What you're hearing clicking is actually the sensor so that they can't drive off with this open. As you walk inside, you're gonna notice that there's three windows on the driver's side and then two on the passenger side. The reasoning for that is because you have a control panel for 110 volts. So you can set up all of your household equipment or if you wanna set up a gaming platform, that'd be kinda of cool. So say you did birthday parties. What we were gonna do is put a TV here and an air condition here and then have seating and a bed. But you can do whatever you want. I mean, if you buy it, it's yours. Let's go ahead and go to the, the front and I'll start it up. Obviously this truck is four wheel drive. It has two modes for the transfer case. This is pretty, this is sugar sand here and it had no problems. We literally stopped it here and we're able to move it with no, with no issues in regards to traction. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys underneath here. Look at how nice the suspension is. You got your leaf springs and you get your cab lifting uh, mechanisms. So those are, your, those are your hydraulics that'll push it up. Let's go ahead and start the truck. So what you're hearing right now is it has low air pressure. We've been out here for a little while. We'll close that. Come on over here. Okay, so this is a control panel for your uh, lifting system. Essentially, we're gonna raise the cab. We're gonna push the pump button and it will raise it up. It operates as it should. It takes about a minute, so we're gonna fast frame it right now. We just finished lifting the cab. I want to show you the Cat 3116 motor. This has 372 or 374 miles on it, as I said before. You've got a nice generator here, your turbo setup, and when you look at the engine bay, it doesn't leak a drop of anything because essentially it's brand new. Uh, you've got your piping that goes to your intake box, which is up there. And then I believe that that's the height of your Fording you should be able to go to is right here, which is pretty tall. You've got your intercooler up front as well your radiator stack, and then your, your fan. Uh, everything, I, when I'm looking at this, it looks extremely clean, and I think that someone that wants to build out a camper, they're starting off with a great platform. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna close this up. We'll fire up the truck. We'll drive through the sand, then we'll take it on the road so you can see how this thing runs. There we go, does it by itself now. Pretty sweet. Once it closes, we're gonna lock these in place so that we can, uh, it, there's a lock right here, you can see it, the green. That will actually lock into place and it won't allow the cab to bounce up and down when we're driving. Okay, so I'm gonna close up the capsule right now. Uh, as I said, there's a buzzer here, so we can't start it with this opener, you're gonna hear a horrible sound. I'm going to pull apart our ladder. So there's pins that hold this in place. I'll place it inside there. And then I gotta put my beach cruiser. Check, take a look at that bad boy. 
I know it's a women's bike, but I like it, so I don't care what you think. It's comfortable. Let me go ahead and grab that girl. Don't be jealous. Here, I'll show you guys how these windows open and close. It's pretty neat. So you can make this thing completely black. You've got your light switch here for your interior lights. So when you flick those on, you see how the lights are illuminating. And you can also turn these on too. For these, take a look at this. So you pull this down, lock it, and then you can make it dark. Pretty neat. Same thing. Neat, huh? Let's go for a ride. Okay, so we're inside of the cabin. How you start this truck? Get your ignition switch. It's gonna turn on all the power. Then you've got your start button. It's gonna fire up, so if you have it sitting for a while, the tanks are gonna have to build pressure, so you're gonna hear a horrible sound coming from this speaker right here. Normally what most people do is they tape them off, because it's like ear piercing. You've got your hand controls here, and then your lights, just like a military, in most military trucks, so we're gonna be driving it, so we're gonna put it on stoplights. Uh, service drive will turn your headlights and taillights on, but this will make your brakes work. So, uh, you've got front air brake pressure, rear air brake pressure, your speedometer, and then the mileage. So, I said 374. We're going to hit 374 today when we do this test drive video. You've got your fan button, so you can click that if you're going to go into water so you don't like, break your blades. Uh, and then you've got your Allison controller here. So this is a seven speed transmission with dual modes for the transfer case. And it's a push button design. This would be similar to what you'd find in a school bus or um, other tactical vehicles like this. You've got your horn over here. <laughs> such a baby horn for such a big vehicle. And then you have your control box for your tires. So if you wanted to change the tire pressure for uh, dirt or sand, you can have it plugged in and click it in, in place. When I store these trucks, I like to disconnect them because sometimes these things will make your tires leak air. And I'm not do going into a scenario where we need to adjust the tire pressure right now. You've got your heat controls here and your parking brake, which we're gonna turn off shortly, and your trailer air supply. We don't have to touch that, there's no trailer on here. You also have your grade, uh, your gradient, so you can see how far this thing is tipping. Remember, this thing is very heavy in the rear, top heavy. So let's go ahead and take it for a ride. I'm applying my brake. We're gonna disengage the brakes. Oh, our door's open in the back. So I'm gonna have to go, that switch that we have back there, remember the one I was showing you in the video earlier? It seems like it's not touching the correct spot, so I'm gonna go ahead and go back there and take care of it. God, see how piercing that is? Okay, so I fixed that sensor that we talked about. No more noise. Actually, I won't let you put it into gear. Drive. What we're gonna do is we're gonna drive it regularly and then I'm gonna give it some gas so you can see the operating speed of it. This is the perfect machine if you wanna go off-road, have everything in the back. You've got onboard power. We're in second right now. Third. It'll also tell you what gear you're in on this screen. You have three seats back here, which you can modify. So these have, it has the gun mounts and all that. You also have a turret ring, but I don't think the person that's gonna buy this to camp is gonna worry about that. I've seen a lot of guys build out uh, a cage around this and then they have, uh, like you can put storage up there with a rack. And then the roof, you can put whatever you want on top of it. So if you wanted to you know, build up something that would go like a race trailer that has the things that slide up, this would be the perfect truck for that. Here. And we're in 
7. Nice and smooth. Runs excellent. We're going 40 miles an hour right now. You can give it more gas if you want. So this truly is a camper you can take anywhere. And it really does ride nice. This is a huge truck. We're about to go over some bumps right now. We're gonna, you're gonna see, it doesn't make any noise. How cool is that? So if you have any questions about this truck or something similar to it, give us a call, 954-363-2261. Have a great day. Hey, sweetie.